Welcome, welcome, welcome. I really love making your media matter because it's a day when people who are really amazing from all over the place get to meet each other. I'm Pat Ofterhetty. I wanted to tell you before we, I tell you anything else that the people who are sitting next to you are maybe the most important people that you meet today, um, unless you already know them. <laughs> In which case, move next to somebody else. Uh, with th this is the sixth Making Your Media Matter. Um, and it is the third Making Your Media Matter that has been run by Allison Hanold, who is here, our Associate Director. It has been a great, great pleasure working with Allison, and I have learned so much. And she has uh, enabled the center to grow so much. Uh, and therefore, it's a somewhat bittersweet moment for us to realize that Allison is effectively graduating. She is going to finish her degree here with us and then um, probably move to, uh, back to Chicago, which is where she's from, and has, has uh, decided to transition out of this job while training our new associate director, who is Angelica Das. And Angelica, come up here and say hi. So we're really pleased. Allison, could you come up? We're really pleased that um, Allison and Angie can work together and that we're going to be able to uh, inherit some of Allison's wisdom and benefit from Angelica's nonprofit knowledge and her knowledge that she gained from the International Media Program in, um, in at American University's M MA program. Thank you to you both. And there's one other person I want us to have stay, uh, stay up here for a second. Michael Bogar, where are you? You in the fabulous tights. <laughs> Michael Bogar, for the last couple of years, has made a huge difference in bringing, uh, bringing us to you. She has been in charge of many of our projects, including our newsletter and our partnerships. And Michael is now moving on to Internews, which is a, a wonderful organization that uh, does international news and will give her an opportunity to return to uh, her uh, fascination with the country of Georgia, where she spent some time. So we're we're feeling like we have, we have created a situation for these wonderful people to be able to move on to things that they really want to do while benefiting enormously from them. And we're sorry to see them go, but we love what they did. Thank you very much, Michael and Allison. And Angie, no pressure. Uh, my, our, our Dean, Larry Kirkman, uh, is very, very sorry that he can't be here, but he wanted me especially to give his best wishes to everyone. Uh, this usually is one of his favorite occasions in the year, and he just could not do it because he has to go be Deanly somewhere else. Um, so I guess we'll just have to have all of our fun without him. Uh, Allison is going to come back and explain to you how this thing is actually going to run, and uh, I'll be back in a moment. Thanks, everyone, for joining us today. I'm so glad to see you, and thank you all again for joining us after our reschedule and for being understanding, and I'm happy to see you on a day when the weather's not weird. <laughs> um, I am going to give you a few details that will help you throughout the day. In your folders, which you all received in your bags, and if you didn't get a bag, you can get them in the lobby, is a sheet of paper that has information for the wireless. So if you're on a laptop and you want to log on, there's uh, information there that will guide you through that process. If you're going to be tweeting today, please use our hashtag, which is MYMM. Um, I hope that everyone knows by now about our Ning social network, which is really a great way for you all to continue networking after today, be able to share your media, be able to connect on various levels throughout the year. And the URL is makingyourmediamatter.ning.com, which you'll see on this PowerPoint that is rotating. And I hope you all will join if you haven't. And I have seen a lot of people joining in the last 24 hours, so I'm great to see that. And I hope that you all will keep talking there. Um, 
On your breaks today, you'll see demo tables that are located in the lobby behind the registration table. I do hope that you'll swing in there and see some of the amazing projects that we're highlighting today, which include the, the Where Is Your Line project, Internews, Women in Film and Video's Image Makers project, Digital Democracy, Al Jazeera Witness, and some star SOC faculty who have done some demo projects with students here at the university. I do hope that you will talk to them because they have some amazing insights to share. I also want to take a moment to thank the groups that have helped make this conference possible. Uh, first of all is our presenting partner, the Media That Matters Film Festival. That's a project of Arts Engine. We have created a more formal partnership this year to connect our two very linked events to make sure that the, the community for media for change can really be building in that way. Um, also our sponsors, C3 Communications, Active Voice, POV, Working Films, Women in Film and Video, Cartemquin Films, the National Black Programming Consortium, Independent, National University, and NYU Center for Media, Culture, and History, as well as our partners, SocialDocumentary.net, Miro, Silverdocs, Docs in Progress, Internews, Media Education Foundation, and the Production Hub. Please join me in applauding our partners and sponsors for making this event possible today. And I'd now uh, like to ask George Stoney, uh, the, uh, one, one of America's grand documentarians and the godfather of cable access and a scholar and teacher at New York University to formally open our conference. Well, this is my favorite festival documentary festival particularly, because after all, we're playing around with people's lives and people's image. And so we have to take that very seriously. Uh, I recall a few years ago, remember Geraldo Rivera? He was a, 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 a cable access producer who was playing around with people's lives. And he came to NYU with a collection of what he called his golden moments. That is, when he persuaded people to say things that they didn't intend to say. And I realized that he was <clears throat> just in advance of reality television, which constantly causes people to make spect spectacles of themselves. And I'm pleased that the, this, this uh, outfit here, uh, after Heiss's organization, has worked very hard on uh, the ethics of what we're doing. It's extremely important. What I try to get across to my students is that the person in front of the camera is a collaborator and ideally we are helping them to speak to to say what they want to say meanwhile i'm enjoying the keeping uh, under disciplined scrutiny the life that they are bringing to me and so i look on documentary as an exploratory medium constantly but with constantly having to keep in the back of my mind that we are playing around with people's lives and people's images, and we have a terrific responsibility because of that. And I thank American U and Pat Afterhazy and all her uh, colleagues to constant, for constantly reminding us of that. Thank you.